Accounting Fundamentals Problem 1. The total equity of Lime Company is $100,000 and the total liabilities are $10,000. The total assets are how much? This is a very straightforward question. It's really just asking the accounting equation, which is assets equals liabilities plus equity. Now I say equity specifically, it could be owner's equity if it's a sole proprietorship or partnership, could be stockholder's equity if it's a corporation, depending on which class you're taking, what, what your professor is doing with accounting or what type of exam you're taking, or just what type of company you're looking at in practice. So this question is just asking for assets. What are the total assets here given the amount of liabilities and total equity? So really, the idea is that if we can plug in the liabilities, which we're told here is $10,000, and the equity of $100,000, then we can solve for assets. So let's go ahead, and some of you might be looking at this and you're saying, wow, this is like algebra again. It, it kind of is. But the idea here is the balance sheet in the accounting equation, which is the central focus of all accounting, that's what you're doing. The asset side of the balance sheet, which is on the left side, equals the liabilities and owner's equity or equity side, I should say, which those two things are on the right side of the balance sheet. And that's the accounting equation. That is the main focus or the main item of accounting. It's, it's the most important formula out there to help you understand accounting. So always remember that. So here, just to get the assets, we're going to add the $10,000 of liabilities plus the $100,000 of equity. We're going to get $110,000 and therefore assets equal $110,000. Now, before we leave this problem, I just want to make an important point, And that is, you can change up this question. I could tell you that assets are $110,000, which of course the problem does not, but I could change that around and say assets are $110,000. I could tell you that equity equals $10,000, I'm sorry, $100,000, and you might have to solve for liabilities. So you could have a difference here and your professor or your exam could change that up. So you just use the accounting equation. And it's a simple one. Again, I know algebra is here. And I know many of you, you do not like algebra. You do not even like the crazy math. I completely understand. But this is real simple. It's just three variables and there's just addition. So you would just take as A equals L plus E, right? Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Whatever one you're solving for, you can just isolate that item, right? You're solving for X or whatever the unknown is. So you could take assets. You could bring that over, right? If you subtract away equity, remember the rule in, in algebra, what you do to one side, you must do the other. So if we subtract subtract the equity, right, it, it eliminates that. And then liabilities equals assets minus equity. Or if you do the same thing, you could do assets minus liabilities equals equity if you were solving for equity. So the idea is that the liabilities here equal assets minus equity. So if we know assets are $111,000, we know that equity is $100,000. That means the liabilities has have to equal $10,000. So that's the idea here. You can solve, and you could solve for the equity here. I could give you assets are $110,000, liabilities are $10,000. And again, using this accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity, you could again solve for that unknown, which would be equity, and you'd be able to calculate that the equity would be $100,000. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're given a question like this, you can play around because the accounting equation, again, so, so important in terms of accounting understanding.